can't go for that. No, no, no can do. <laughs> Little hollow notes. No, 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 no. I can't go for that. I can't go for that. No can do. <laughs> Little hollow notes. Yo, uh, <laughs> my man Santa, that's my dude. He's like, yo, Tony, you just have a gift. <laughs> the games are not fixed, you have a gift. <laughs> I pick winning teams, but the game's not fixed. <laughs> you pick the teams that are going to win. It's obvious. <laughs> but you have a gift. I'm confused now. Which one is it? It could be both. You choose to believe that the games are not fixed, and that's fine. Not mad, not mad about that. Everybody has their opinion. I choose to believe that they are fixed. But, I, you know, I, I'm... So I decided to stretch. I decided to stretch my uh, my theories, I guess, into other things. Now I know what I can't do. I can't, you know, if I flip a coin, I can't guess, you know, if it's going to be heads or tails all the time. So I don't think it's like that. I think I have to see a trail of events, and I have to see people manipulate. I have to think that people are doing something that other people can't see. I have to think there's a Geppetto to a Pinocchio in order for my way of thinking to work. It's not just as blatant as, you know, Cleveland's going to lose tonight, which I do think Cleveland is going to lose tonight, you know, and then they're going to win tomorrow. This is also one reason why I can't guess how much they're going to win or lose by. But I can see how the games are manipulated from a distance. From a distance. God is watching us from a distance. <laughs> oh, God is... <laughs> Turn it into a rock song. Oh, God is watching us. <laughs> Poor Batman. Let me be like, what in the hell are you doing? Uh, sipping the Saudi. I wonder if Bat Mettler sips a Saudi. How about she does? <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know, my thought process is, I have to think that there's somebody doing something behind the scenes. It's not so much that it's sinister. It's just to the point where I know something is, you know, somebody's doing something. And this is where I come up with some of my theories. Now, my, I'm fairly new at this. I only start, you know, guessing games last year because the finals, I knew the finals were, were coming up. And as soon as I heard a newscaster say, hey, Tone, he didn't say, hey, Tone, he said, he said, yeah, he said, hey, Tone. It was like, ah, the NBA doesn't want the Raptors to win. I, when I heard that, I came out, sat on my porch where I'm right now, and was like, Cleveland's going to win. Other than that, I paid no mind to sports. I, I really didn't. I didn't care who won or lost. My neighbors paid in mind, but I didn't care. I was like, uh, oh, but you don't care. Don't forget me when you're gone. My heart will break. I love the random songs. <laughs> it's all I can take. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't really care. But now uh, my channel has, you know, grew exponentially. You know, I'm not at a thousand yet, but still I've done almost 400 subscribers in less than a year. Simply because I start throwing out these predictions and they made sense to people. It just makes sense, some of the things I'm talking about. And then we find out there's a whole bunch of skeptics out there. There's some of you guys who do it with numbers, Mike. There's some of you guys who are just like, oh, I'm just a skeptic, Donald. And there's some people who are like, nah, I'm not a skeptic, Sanchez. I don't believe it's fixed. So if Cleveland wins, if, <laughs> if Cleveland wins, you know, Sanchez, then what? You know, they win the big one this year. <clears throat> then what, Donald? Because <clears throat> you two, I have some explaining to do. <clears throat> and Mike. Because Mike is like, nah, it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mike lives in my city. Because I have some explaining to do. 
And I'm going to love to hear, and Mike, you already got some explaining to do because you doubted me in my last, two, my last prediction. That's how you found my channel. You went in on me real hard. It was like, nah, it's not going to happen. And Cleveland will win, and you're crazy. You wanted to go into a boxing match. We never did go box. I still box with you. <laughs> Just to do it. You know, but you never did want to do that. But nonetheless, you know, I turned out to be right. And all the noise, con all the noise calmed down. I had a lot of people go in on me when I said that Cleveland would lose. And then all of this noise just went shh. Some people were, you know, they thought it would be a great Cinderella story for Cleveland to win. You know, when they lost, you know, kind of blew the air out of all that. So, do I think I have a gift? Yes, I'm starting to realize that I do. And I'm, I'm even going to play with some, uh, some other theories. Because this whole thing is new to me, even though now that I remember, I've been doing this for a long time. Heck, I could even walk up to people and know their names. You know? I remember doing that. One guy was like, how are you doing this? You know, I'd walk up and tell them about themselves. And I can only think that the reason why I have a facsimile, I think I have a very, 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 very minute piece of seeing through the veil of time, you know, in order to depict what is going to happen. I have a very, very small piece of it. And when I start reading the scriptures, excuse me, you know, all through the Bible, you know, people are, be, are able to do this. So I think it's definitely God. God has given me some type of gift of, you know, being able to see, you know, and I don't think I'm so clear of, like, I'm, I guess it's clairvoyant. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to start playing with it. I'm going to start doing other stuff. Uh, I think Cleveland's definitely going to lose tonight. And I could be wrong because I'm not really good at the game the game. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that they're playing Kansas City. They're going to, I mean, they're not worried about Kansas City. So Kansas City is not a threat to them. How about them Tigers? Didn't them Tigers get in there with the Mets? <laughs> yeah, Detroit. So, yeah, so I'm, Cleveland's going to lose tonight. I'm, I'm just throwing that out there. I've been saying that for a couple of days. And, um, let me see. I'm trying to address some of the comments. Uh, I should have done that. I should have done it sitting in front of my computer. But yeah, so that's what I think. It's your boy Tone202. I'm about to make another video. Peace.